Hello everyone and welcome back to That Adventure Life. My name is Dustin. And I'm V. And today we are hiking to Geronimo's Cave. Ooh, exciting. So it's actually located in Radium, Radi Radium? Radium Spring. Radium Sound Spring. Sounds pleasant. And near La Cruces, La Cruces? Uh, <laughs> in New Mexico. There is a word trying to learn how to pronounce it correctly, I hope. Please do. Uh, if we don't, I'm sure you tell us at the bottom. We'll hear about it, I'm sure. We'll hear about it. So it's in New Mexico. We're actually it's like between Alamogordo and El Paso. So it depends on what direction you're going or coming from. This is on our New Mexico trip. We on our way home, so we decided to take stretch our legs and we found this really cool it looks really cool caves in Radium Spring. So are we gonna stop here and do a quick hike? So it's 2.5 miles is rated moderate. I've heard it depends on what trail, there's multiple ways to get there. It depends on which route you are taking. It might be a little bit more difficult than the other. This is our first time here. We haven't done this one yet. So we'll guide you along the way as we're stumbled through uh, a mistake or hopefully not. Or victory. Or victory. So come right along with us and we'll show you how to try this awesome cave, okay? This entire hike was quite an experience. I don't want to ruin all the surprises that we have coming up later, but even getting started was interesting. Rather than having a dedicated trailhead like most of the hikes we do, this one had us driving down dirt roads behind people's houses and then parking in an open field. Luckily, V being the amazing trip planner that she is, had the GPS coordinates of where we should park, and you can find those on our website, thatadventurelife.com. After parking, you will be dropping down into the river bottom to start the hike. Welcome to the Rio Grande River. Uh, so pretty much where, right where you start your trail, you're gonna be crossing over this rivers right here. And depending on uh, the season, this can flow pretty bad. So if you are going, I mean, you know, take a look at the rivers. If it's like this, and yeah, you're safe to go. But if it's flowing hard and it's not safe to pass, then don't do it, okay? So make your own judgment. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but we're gonna go across and then find, uh, try to find our drill head. You're not going to be going straight across the river and things will get a little bit confusing here. We ended up finding a rib bone as we searched for this small opening in the trees. After making your way through this short little creepy forest, you're going to be making a right and heading a little ways down the trail. The trail eventually comes to a fork and we went to the left. There were some tiny rock cairns, but you really had to look for them. This trail has an elevation gain of 557 feet and the vast majority of the climbing is in the beginning right here and then again at the end. There are also going to be some wooden poles along this part of the climb so you can look for those to make sure you're staying on the trail. As we crested the first climb, we got our first unobstructed view of the mountains and Geronimo's cave. If after watching this video, you still would like to attempt this hike, one thing you definitely need to take into consideration is that with the exception of the cave, there is zero shade on this trail. It is a short hike, but if you're going to do it during the warmer months, bring plenty of water. One of the highlights of this trail is that it ran right through an Ocotillo patch. Even though these flowers are beautiful, you definitely need to watch out for the thorns. In fact, there are tons of cacti and other pokey things on this hike, so it's best to try to stay on the trail. Eventually, you're going to get a break from climbing as the trail turns right and makes its way along the rim. So 
So at this place, when you see this one house right here against the valley, uh, this is where the the trail that we found, or the trail that people recommend, join up with your drag from all trails. If you're using all trails, uh, I have no idea what that trail is from the beginning uh, would lead up to. We didn't see any other trails besides the one that we were taking. Uh, and then at this point, it's going to join back up with your drag, just so you know. Although you will still be gaining elevation at this point, it is nowhere near as steep as that initial climb. Although all these smaller connecting trails that we took to get to this main trail seemed a little bit strange, this portion of the hike is much more well-defined and easy to follow. And someone even left a cute little heart for us up here. You're gonna spend a little bit of time hiking right here along the edge, and then it is going to curve off to the right and head up the hill. We're picking up the pace a little bit because not to be too grim, but we found some goat body parts. So there's probably a hungry kitty out here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we're gonna try and get in and out before uh, he gets hungry again. Cause I mean, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'd probably be a pretty good snack. That's, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? At right around the 8 tenth of a mile mark, the trail is going to curve off to the right and you're going to begin that final climb up to the cave. While it might not be much steeper than the first climb, there are quite a few more exposed sections that you definitely do not want to fall from. As we climbed, we came to a small fork in the trail. It looked like someone had taken rocks and blocked off the left trail, so we went to the right. The two trails ended up rejoining a little bit further up the climb, so it doesn't really matter which way you go. As you climb higher, be sure to look off to your right side. There's a lot of farming that goes on in Radium Springs, and with the soft light from the cloudy skies, it was really pretty. At this point, the cave is tucked just around the corner. Along our way, we found this boulder that looked like it had a claw mark in it. Hopefully it wasn't from that hungry kitty. Compared to hikes like Three Peaks, which you can see by clicking in the upper corner, this trail is not dangerous at all. But this last section is narrow and rocky, so watch your step. If you're not very sure-footed, hiking pulls might not be a bad idea. As we rounded one last corner, there was Geronimo's cave in front of us. And I must say, it was more impressive than we thought it would be. We made it to the cave. And um, so far, I don't hear any hungry kitties in here. Um, I guess we'll see. I'm not sure exactly how far it goes in, but we're about to find out. It turns out that this cave goes in for quite a ways. We were having a blast exploring it and we would have spent more time in there, but then something happened. Just a heads up, if you're afraid of things with eight legs, Look away now. Oh. Huh? What happened? It's a ton of spiders. Oh, ew, I just saw that. Okay, I'm gonna get out. It was all fun and games in the uh, tunnel there until we realized that it was covered in spiders. Yeah. They're the, I, they look like daddy long legs, but like the bigger kind of daddy long legs. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny because, I mean, you can end going pretty far and I actually craw crawled through one of the tunnels to go in. Had no idea. And then I look back <laughs> and I hear Dustin screaming. It was a oh. louder shout i wasn't screaming and then we look at the wall and it was covered with spiders so uh that was some we, indiana jones level stuff and i don't know if i've ever seen her move so fast uh, <laughs> and he, he keeps sitting there filming the spider and i doesn't get the f out so i can crawl out of this thing 
<laughs> yeah, like get the heck out so I can get out through this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, big hungry kitties, tons of spiders. Haven't seen a danger noodle yet, but um, for such a short hike, there's a, there's a lot of excitement. I mean, the cave is pretty cool. It's super neat, and if you're not afraid of spiders, it looked like they were crawling out of the way when they see light. Um, but we're, I don't like spiders, so we're just gonna call it. If you have a blowtorch, maybe you could just kind of come through and just... Yeah, so but it, it looks like you could go in the quiet way. So if, you were, if you're not afraid of spiders, and if you want to explore, this is the cave. On that note, I think we're gonna head back. How are we gonna get back before the sun sets so. though? An angry kitty comes An angry kitty. <laughs> this is an out and back trail, so you'll be heading back the same way that you came. Just be careful because some of these downhills can get pretty slippery. The good thing is that you will now be looking out over that beautiful farmland, but we weren't able to completely enjoy that view because we were looking for that kitty. Luckily, the only critter that we ended up seeing was this beautiful greater earless lizard. One of the good things at this point is that all of the hard work is pretty much done. You have climbed all the way up to the caves and now you can coast all the way back to the car. And don't forget to clean up after yourself on the trails. Pack it in, pack it out, people. Keep it clean out here. At this point, you only have to make it through one last steep section. The biggest challenge is not to slide your way down the hills and go flying into some pokey bush. This was definitely one heck of a way to wrap up our New Mexico trip. We experienced everything from massive caves to the pristine sands of White Sands National Park, which you can see by clicking in the upper corner. And with one last trip through that creepy little forest, we could take a little bit of a deep breath and know that we wouldn't be lunch for a big kitty that day. We were usually pretty happy to see the car after a hike, but this was a whole different type of gratitude. Well, mountain lions and spiders and caves. Oh my, that was, uh, that was a little bit of an adventure for, you know, something that's right around two miles long. Two and a half. Two minutes. and a half miles long. Yeah. It's, uh, I would say it's moderate in the, just because it's steeper, uh, a little bit rockier. There's some drop off uh, as you hide your way along the cliff. Uh, that being said, it's not that difficult. It's like an easy moderate. I think the hardest part was to try to find the trailhead. Yeah, yeah, that was the tricky part. And then once we were through that, it's, it seemed fairly self-explanatory. Yeah, uh, the cape was cool. We wish we could have gone in uh, further, just, I um, don't, yeah. I don't know, what are you doing? I was doing a little spider hand on top oh, of your head. Oh, yeah. Mm. That, I, I was kind of bummed that um, the spider kind of creeped us out. Yeah. But I wish we could, we would gone into a little bit further in. Yeah, but the hiking gods appeared to have smiled upon us because uh, the, it was nice and overcast and a little breezy on the way up. But as you can see, the sun looks like it's trying to break out and it got a little toasty that last probably quarter of a mile so yeah it's 93 degrees with, yeah yeah with when the sun's come out so yeah so we are gonna go back to the air conditioning if you i mean if you love cave if you want to finish i mean visit a super awesome cave click on the right corner we have cars back cavern that place is amazing yeah and i think less spiders and no spider but if you want if you're determined and you're like Dang it, I'm gonna go to this cave. Be sure to click the link in the description below because we'll have some uh, GPS points and everything that will make finding it a lot easier because uh, there was a little bit of detective work for us on this one. For sure, for sure. Well, if uh, you know these, you know what to do. Click the like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know if you have any recommendation in New Mexico. We would love to come back here and check it out. Yeah. See you guys in the next video. See you later. <laughs>